In this example, we will see how you can use a time picker dialog to set an alarm and then start the alarm. So I'll click on the first button that is set time. When I click on this, the right now the time is 11.23 p.m. So I will make the choice as 24 so that I can see an alarm after one minute. Okay, and now I'll click on start alarm. As you can see, uh, the alarm went on just after I clicked on start alarm because 24 had already occurred by the time I chose 24. So anyways, the app works and there was another toast message there which said uh, that uh, the uh, there was some mention of KitKat there. Now let us go to Android Studio and see what all is this all about. So starting with this app, first let us have a look at the uh, the manifest file so manifest has uh, a permission which you need to give that is vibrate permission it's very important to give this permission otherwise your app will crash uh, there's there's a launcher activity here main activity and then there is a receiver tag here which is basically the broadcast receiver that you will need now let's go to the layout layout i don't think there's much to discuss in layout there's just a simple linear layout with vertical orientation and then there are two buttons set time and set alarm both of these two buttons are working with on click attribute and uh, that's it now let's go to main activity main activity is the place where the real action is happening what we're doing is we are created uh, two uh, references of uh, integer type uh, r and minute and then we have set time here set time is basically the method that is getting called whenever the user clicks on the first button and that button was to set time as you can see we are creating an instance of calendar class here uh, please see that you have to when, when when you choose calendar class and you when you're importing calendar class you have to make sure that the calendar class is the java utility calendar class and don't choose the icu android one uh, of course you can use that one also but we have used the java util calendar so you create an object of ca calendar class cal2 and this will basically return the current instance of uh, the current time and what we're doing here is we are uh, using the time picker dialog here time picker dialog object is getting created you need to provide uh, it a context the current context and then time picker dialog is also being set with on time set listener so whenever the user will click on ok of time picker dialog the time that the user has chosen uh, in the clock in the time picker dialog will be uh, will be you know on time set will get executed then so what will happen is the whatever time the user chose and then clicked on ok that time will be provided through these two input arguments right so what we're doing is whatever the time the user has chosen we are we are submitting that the, we are we capturing those two times in r and m minute in this variable and in this variable right so one thing which i want you to understand here is that what the way time picker dialog works is that whenever user clicks on ok button uh, on time set listener uh, gets activated it calls or rather overrides the method on time set the time which is showing up in the time picker dialog the time which the user has used or rather chosen uh, is is will be provided through these two input arguments and we are picking that those two times hours and minutes in these two variables right and finally we are uh, uh, we, we are able to you know find out what is time that the user wants the alarm to go off right and that's it uh, this is basically show so this takes care of the fact that time picker dialog has to be shown to the user and finally there, there's a second button there start alarm the start alarm button is responsible for initiating the alarm so what we're doing here is we have created an intent object uh, which is a simple intent takes you from this current context to my broadcast receiver which we will look into now it's basically a broadcast receiver class that we have created we are using a pending intent here pending intent is nothing but an intent which is waiting for some kind of action to ha happen and this pending intent when it is made it is provided with another intent which will get executed whenever the time comes so we are providing it an intent named as intent 2 and uh, this is a request code 
uh, I'm sure you know these requests code can be any number that you want to put here. Uh, we use these requests code to, uh, in case you know there are a lot of requests being done or a lot of pending intents that you're dealing with, in that those cases you can use requests code to find out which exactly in pending intent has been fired. Right. So now uh, here uh, we are creating an object of alarm manager class and finally calendar cal alarm. Uh, we want to create an object of calendar class again here and then we are setting this uh, you know we are to the same object we are setting the the time and uh, what time do we want to set for the alarm. So this is the same uh, variable that was used to capture the choice made by the user uh, here in the time picker dialog and this minute is also the same minute which was captured here right and now finally say for seconds we are putting zero because uh, even time picker dialog does not give you the freedom to choose the seconds uh, for setting an alarm right now what exactly are we doing here so what we're doing here is that uh, uh, if you can see uh, there is this there is this decision that is being made here that is if the version on which the app is running is greater than kitcat in that case please use alarm manager dot set exact so basically this set exact is a method that was introduced to allow users to set exact alarms uh, as uh, you know uh, sometime earlier what used to happen was that the alarms were compromised by android os now this was because earlier before kitkat the most of the os uh, most of the hardware that was available to android os was not uh, capable to handle too many broadcast events and uh, as you know uh, more the, the os uh, or graduated to better versions uh, the hardware also graduated and then gradually it was possible to set alarms exactly so that is why this method is available to you only if you are building this the version is greater than kitkat or equal to kitkat now uh, i hope you understand why this alarm greater than kitkat was appearing uh, when we when we gave you a demo of the app Right? And in case uh, you run this app uh, in a version which is before KitKat, even there, then it will work. It's just that the alarm manager dot set will be appearing and set exact will not be, will you will not be able to use set exact. Now, uh, one point which I want to make here is that it does not mean that if you're using uh, this app on a phone which is older than KitKat, the alarm will not go off at the right time. But uh, like, you know, like I said, if you want to make sure that the best results for the best results you would want to set exact right but set exact like i said will only work with something which is greater than or equal to kitkat right uh, that's it this is what the app does and uh, we've already shown you the the working of the app uh, in your comments section you can put any questions that you might have uh, but before that before i forget i also need to show you this broadcast receiver the broadcast receiver is a simple broadcast receiver it has got on receive method inside it uh, it has a toast message and then we are also creating the vibrator service object and uh, and then we are creating the alarm here uh, we are we are going to vibrate the phone for 1000 milliseconds uh, and then there is a manifest here Manifest has got a receiver again. Please make sure that you do mention this receiver here. Otherwise the app will not work. So it, it will not crash. But when the time comes, the app will not be able to, you know, give you any alarm, right? Because as you know, receivers has a job to uh, keep sitting and wait for any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of intent to be received by them. But they'll be only to do, they'll be do, they will be able to do that only if they have, uh, they have been mentioned in the manifest right so this is it now finally the lecture is over and uh, please leave any questions if you have please leave them in the comment section and uh, do subscribe to the channel and like the video and uh, share it with your friends thank you so much take care bye bye